You're in the way. All right, we go. Now we're filming. Okay, tell us why we need an inverter. I don't even know what an inverter is. I can't believe it. You're my wife, and you've been listening to me talk all this solar stuff, and you don't know what an inverter is. Mom, it's, it's a new. grid. It's a grid tied inverter. Okay. Go away. Go on. Okay. Good. Okay, Kevin. This is my entry for your grid tied inverter giveaway. These are the solar panels that I have on the house. These are the Harbor Freight solar panels. I bought my first kit, and I had bought a couple more. A friend of mine gave me another panel, so I have 10 of them all together, which is 150 watts, which is just perfect for the grid tied inverter. Now I'm just now putting my system back together, so I'll do a couple of clips of that and try to piece it together in Windows Movie Maker and see how it goes. All the panels go down here to this combiner box. The combiner box that goes down into my laundry room where the control panel going to be set. Comes down here to a solar disconnect box. And this is the you just pull out and it goes into the laundry room from there. That way in case there's a problem, fire department can turn it off safely. Okay, here it is. This is the other end of the cable that's coming from the disconnect. That's good uh, heavy duty outdoor cable, 10 gauge. I got this free from work. I got a whole spool full of it. I didn't think I would ever use it, but uh, now that I'm doing solar stuff, I'm uh, using it to run for my solar panels. Uh, it's not really heavy enough. If I ever get some better panels, I'm going to definitely go with some larger wire uh, somewhere else. I had my solar system working before and uh, this little panel right here is a lug panel, a $29 panel from Home Depot and I'll show you how to make a manual transfer switch that way you can switch from your solar back to your house uh, uh, power to the grid power you know just by flipping a couple little switches there and uh, it'll save you a little bit a lot of bit of money so anyhow I'll keep going I'm gonna start mounting some more wood on the walls here and then start rearranging my stuff and walk y'all through it okay Kevin this is the second day of my project I uh, got the wood mounted on the wall got the wood for free I love free and uh, I would sure love to have one of those free grid tied inverters you got there this is what I've done I got my panel mounted. I've got my new uh, power inverter for my house power. Right there, pure sine wave inverter. And uh, I'll go a little bit farther in depth tomorrow whenever I start to wire it. And I'll show you all how I got all this wired and i got a SunForce uh, controller here, $99. You know, the only thing I could afford at the time, I think what I'll do is I'll wait for your next giveaway, Kevin. And wait for one of your new controllers if I wait long enough maybe you'll give that out back away uh, that would be great but anyhow this is what I've done today and uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow okay what can I say but thank you Kevin for doing this um, anybody watching this video we're doing this these videos for a contest that Kevin's giving away some of his grid tied inverters and uh, he's got a great channel I want everybody to go over there and look at it and I know most of you that are watching this video know about his channel anyway, but if anybody comes across this video on the internet and it's interested in going green or anything like that, you know, you need to go check his channel out. He's got a great, great channel. It's O-B-X-S-O-L-W-I-N-D. Go check his channel out. And again, thank you very much, Kevin. Okay, here it is. That's the back side of the controller and the back door. That's the Harbor Freight controller right there. It was too long to go into this box, so I took it apart and scooted the little board forward and cut it in two, so it's a little short unit now. But I, I only have it hooked up to a 12-volt power source so we can 
utilize the cigarette lighter and the meter and all the little switches, you know, the little gadgets and plug the lights in if you wanted to. And I just thought it was cool, so I went ahead and put it in there, kind of cover space up. But anyhow, this is this is the wiring. Right there, the black wires, the wire I showed you earlier that goes down into the charge controller, from the charge controller back out of the charge controller, into this disconnect that's on the left. That's just a regular breaker. It's a 15 amp breaker going up to the solar array. It goes from over there. It goes and jumps over to this breaker right here. All right, that's the power breaker. Okay, we're ready to turn it on. So this, I hope I wired everything up right. If I did everything good. Oh yeah. By the way, somebody told me on the internet that if you take gasoline and you put it in your batteries, it'll last a lot longer. You know, so I, I decided I'd just give it a try. Anyhow, this is the uh, solar array. And uh, this is the, the power to the batteries. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just, just kidding about the gasoline part. Any idiot would know not to do that. You, know, you should always use paint thinner. No. No, don't do anything stupid with batteries. And by the way, I'm not responsible for any mistakes anybody makes. All right, right here, uh, got it all working. Uh, it's all powered up. Right now it's dark, so I'm not putting out any voltage. I don't think the charge controller is working, but uh, there it is. Oh, what do we have here? We have an empty spot where a grid tied inverter would happen to go. If anybody happens to know where I can get one, I sure would like to have the information. But anyhow, I would like to win that. Sure would, Kevin. It'd be an honor to put that on my wall. Being your controller, you know, like I said, you have a great channel. Everybody go watch it. I wouldn't have done this if it uh, wasn't for Kevin. I, he inspired me, and I'm still going. You know, this is just a start. I'm going to keep going and see how it goes, and and one day maybe I'll be up there with Kevin, but I doubt it because he keeps adding on and adding on, and hard to keep up with him. Anyhow. That's my entry into your contest, and I hope I win. Thank you.